Italy's February elections had no clear winner and left Parliament in gridlock. Prime Minister Mario Monti remains head of the government for now, but new elections will likely be held this year. In the awkward transition, Italy's president, Giorgio Napolitano, has announced a plan to maintain stability, an effort to appease both nervous Eurozone leaders and dissatisfied Italians. CCTV's Emily Drew reports. More than a month after Italy's inconclusive elections, Italy's government remains gridlocked. Following talks Saturday, there are different enduring perspectives, and this means that it is still impossible to find a solution in order to form a new government. Italians wait, the Eurozone is increasingly anxious, and Italy's president is buying more time with a new plan. I'm going to ask different personalities from different political and cultural backgrounds to suggest a proposal on economic, political, social and European issues. I hope these proposals can get approval from the different political parties. It's an effort to maintain stability and solve some urgent economic problems amid growing uncertainty. Monti government is still leading Italy. Um, and that's what the Eurozone leaders want. The president knows that. He does not want more uncertainty to rule Italy at this point. Eurozone leaders may want more Monty, but the election was a clear no to the austerity measures the technocrat implemented when he became prime minister in 2011. We want the economy to be revived. They should tax capital in the bourgeoisie, not impose cuts on the poor. Monti's reforms, liked or not, have been important for strengthening Italy's precarious economy. If another coalition takes power too soon, the reforms will be in danger. Experts enlisted by President Napolitano will be tasked with making sure some reforms can stay in place no matter what happens in new elections. Whatever this group uh, comes up with is going to be a much more watered down measures that uh, hopefully the public is going to be okay with. The election may have left the parliament in a standstill, but the Italian people hit their government with some clear messages, including the desire for a much younger group of leaders. They have taken a great step, Italian people, saying, we're tired of the old system. This needs to be reformed, and this is how we want that to be done, the young generational uh, change. Yet to be seen whether or not the president and other politicians will listen to the messages. Emily Drew, CCTV, Washington.